I'm making a request video for Phoenix here. Um, this is just a simple explanation of how to draw these um, old uh, sigils and circles and holy tables. This is something I was just up in the attic and uh, trying to see what I had to show you. This is old brass and in that case a brass bowl. And I have to, I will have to, if I'm going to use it, I will have to sandpaper it down and uh, then just engrave. With a burin, I think it's called. Cool. I just draw the lines and um, consecrate and when I make. I like this in metal since it's fireproof. And then I show my other passion. And this one would need a good cleaning. It's right from the addict here. Attic, not addict. <laughs> so I like that it's got the wood and it's circular. I also use square ones uh, where I have the old astrological uh, signs in the square around for the sham. A mirror and a mirror beneath and... Uh, where I put whatever I use with that and uh, these are like these are instead of a holy table since I don't have the space for a holy table anymore right now at least and other things I use to create a circle or a plate it is just as simple as this as you can practice you get better I posted some photos and uh, I like to use Let's say this is gold, so I have a gold pen, permanent marker, black, copper. You have these different colors that are associated. And one other thing I usually do, this is also from the attic. I haven't, we are uh, using water sparingly, so I can't wash and uh, clean this up right now since we are saving water and electrics here. But uh, I just can take a burin or I can um, heat up a nail and uh, burn it and etch in the sigils and or use knives and uh, carve out the sigils and then fill in with the uh, gold leaf or whatever you do. And here of course is my consecrated... Uh, Here we go. Here are my consecrated inks. And with my bad eyesight, it's a little bit difficult for me right now to use these. And then you need a lacquer. Um, I have gold and copper and every color here. And I use a virgin parchment or uh, the best paper quality I have as well. And then I put it, I can make uh, make it on good quality paper, use these consecrated inks, and um, then I put in a photo frame. And that gets the work done, and it's very good to use a photo frame since um, that way it doesn't... Um, Affect uh, when you put a candle on it or something fire safety And uh, I don't know what is called so I just borrowed this from my neighbor. It's something that kids have It's like this kind of frame, but it's got thicker inside so you can fill this up with different things and have the glass above I don't know what you call these things but that is a good idea, and I my preference is always to work with glass. And here are things I wanted to start. I uh, collected leaves, and then I crushed the um, foot of the leaf and put it in glycerol. Um, you can buy it at the pharmacy. It's the high sugar thing, and uh, instead of um, drying the leaves you, it gets like a rubbery thing and then I thought of putting it into a 
a gloss frame with gilded around. The book of leaves is also one word for the um, Enochian uh, angelical language. They, da Vinci called it the book of leaves, if I can recall it well. So I was thinking of making a new book, angelical book for the end, and I got this idea that I want to use gold leaves as and I love glass. In my dream world, I would have a glass, a great table of earth and all those things, etched in glass. But sometimes you got to make do what you have. And here's one. Um, oh, this is dirty as well. Here is something I experimented etching on glass. It hasn't really worked out as I wanted. But it is like I, I take a glass and then I experiment and I gild it and uh, just do it for fun. And I'm, uh, I practice on uh, cheap things so I get it right then. And here's one, this is, I don't know what it is, but it is copper. And in a way, now this is a little bit annoying, this bit here, but I could... Uh, Hammer it down, and then if I would, if this was a big thing, I would do that, and I would plan this out, cut it. It's easy to cut, and press it out, and in that case, make uh, use of the copper here. And I did one experiment with brass. I wanted to see natural effects on brass. While left this one, I dampened and had a little bit of salt on it on my balcony and it turned into this color and I find, find it very fascinating and I thought that maybe if I could use like natural elements on the brass it could be something since when you carve you get the color from the brass itself so this is just an experiment I've been doing and the same thing with this that I won't polish them I just see what they turn out in and then I use the burin and carve something into them. And of course some of the books I took some photos and posted them on Instagram on Ek Marjorie and I keep on posting the holy tables and things like that and here I just want to so show you it isn't always the most easy thing to draw classical sigils and this is an expensive book and as you can see they all look like this so you have to create your own and like this with uh, Gabrielle so that was one thing and they are blurred and smeared just as my own handwriting is so that's one thing and uh, and then I show you this one from the Goetia of Dr. Rudd. This is a circle and here you change the names uh, regarding season and uh, what it is. And then why I'm angry with this book. You pay a lot of for a book from Malaysia and then it looks like this on the inside. You see the whole thing is... When you got all the uh, customs and all the taxes paid, a book like this goes well over a hundred and fifty dollars. So that's not worth the money. Not when it comes like this. It's better to use the manuscripts. And here is the four times of heftameron uh, uh, circles that I like really well. And I posted them on Instagram. And here we have some. As I, you can see I can't make this up. Since I can't see what is written. So I can't really make an example. Even if I think I know what is written. But my eyesight is too bad. So all I can do is to take a photo. And you can try to see what is written there. And uh, look at. The um, manuscripts itself. Uh, so, but this is just some clues on how to work and uh, and why I create things like I do. 
I started with creating plates or trays, as I call them as well, since I moved into a tiny flat. So that's as simple as that, and it has to be practical. I use it every day, and I have different things for different working. So, and I love the working with the circle, since the circle, even if it's like as simple as this plate, would be. And I would uh, put Archangel's names around here. It's the circle. And I like triangles, so I put the triangles pointing up. That's, that's my thing, or the hept, um, hexagram, <laughs> forgot the name, and so on, and whatever I'm called to do. And I just make things, sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't, and sometimes I have those favorites that keeps on being a part of my life. So this was just a short little... Thing. And as for me, if I should need it in a rush, I consecrate this pen and ink with the old, this gold, it goes for the same. This plate is made of some stone material, oh, it's an old plate. And I would just write it out with them or take a nail and make a little scratch on the surface so it sticks better. And then exercise it and consecrate it and that's it. And... Um, People all over the world, you don't need to buy pure gold and gild it with gold. It's more when you work with demons that you need the precious stones and the exact combinations since demons rule over the earth so they are linked to the particular stones and metals and so on. But angels are above that so they like it but they don't have to have it. So that's my view on it. Be inspired and check out Instagram Ek Marjorie. Bye for now.